And we ask you, please, God, show love and comfort to these families. Help them and hold them in their weakest hours and give them strength to go on. And help our city to show love at a time when love really needs to be shown. A test of faith for the city of Chattanooga. <laughs> and the people like Deborah who live here. As word gets out more about who they are, I'm learning that some of them are um, um, nieces and nephews of church members. At least five children, children Deborah knows were killed. A kindergartner, a first grader, and three fourth graders. And they'd be home having fun for Thanksgiving with their family. And now those families are coming together to lay their children to rest. And I just, um, I'm just heartbroken. The heartbreak has no boundaries. I saw the crash or the crash site. I, you could tell immediately this is really, really bad. And I feared the worst. Ed Wilson was nearby when the crash happened. He was one of the first to call for help. Uh, several of them, maybe a half a dozen or so, were escaping through the roof hatch and uh, jumping down to the ground level. And uh, some people uh, near me, or I guess neighbors, people from the community, uh, stopped to comfort the children, and help them across the road and that sort of thing. It was very hard to watch, very, very tragic. And while he'll never forget what he saw, he'll also never forget what he's seen now. Chattanooga passing the most unimaginable test of faith. We'll never be able to understand all that happens in our lives, but we know that you're still God. And a small group now has joined behind me, putting more flowers, more balloons and candles here at this vigil here on Tally Road. It is expected to only grow from here. Back to you. Yeah, there are other opportunities now, Casey, for the emotion to show.